Hello and welcome to Blender Nuggets. My name is Mark and I'm going to create a series of tutorials that uh, are just quick tips that can help you get further along in your projects and um, in this tutorial I wanted to teach you how to track the camera and be more efficient in your scene by moving your camera around. Uh, but before I do that there was one thing I learned the other day that, uh, that I found or discovered uh, that was a pretty neat little script if you go to file and user preferences and click on your add-on tab and probably down towards the bottom that's where mine is it's called a dynamic spacebar menu if you check that just check that little box right there and X out of there um, the default way to pull up your menu in 2.5 is shift A and that's where you get mesh curves and you know adding cameras and lights and all those kind of things but with this script enabled if you hit the spacebar it becomes a dynamic spacebar menu and not only do you have all of those things like you do when you have shift A but you also have all of these other tools at your disposal so just kinda of puts a lot of things right there at your fingertip it's really neat so now uh, we're gonna get on to uh, tracking the camera so if we uh, click on the camera I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, before we do that I'm gonna go ahead and I have my selection here I'm gonna hit the spacebar and I'm gonna go down to add an empty. The empty is kind of like a null layer. It's a layer that uh, you can attach things to or use for certain um, things in your in your projects that uh, will not render. And um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to track my camera to that. So now that we have a null layer, uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of rotate this scene so you can see it a little bit more in 3D view. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click on my camera. And I'm going to come over to constraint tab and add a constraint and then go down tracking and track to we're going to track our camera to this uh, empty layer uh, we can make it a little bit easier by naming things so if we click on our empty and hit the N key scroll down to where it says item it's called empty that's the default name but we want to name it camera focus and um, let's go ahead and click uh, outside of that box and that'll set that and hit in to go ahead and do away with it so now if I come back over here with my camera selected come over and I've got the uh, add constraint if we click in the target box here go down to camera focus that's what we named that um, that empty layer and now the camera tracks to that but one little problem that we have though is the camera you see this blue line is tracking to it but it's not looking at the object so we're gonna to have to come right over here and we're gonna to have to hit the negative Z axis that kinda of puts it in perspective but the next thing you have to do is right here by the up button instead of Z we need to track it on the Y and now what happens is two things one I can grab the camera with the G key and just kinda of freely move it around and you see it will always track and look at the null layer now if I grab the null layer or the empty and hit G and move it around the camera always keeps its focus on where this null layer is so if I want to always look at the monkey Suzanne put that right there on her no matter what I do if I grab the G key with the camera it's always going to look at her I can grab our axis here and move it right past her like this it'll always stay focused on her X axis our Z axis always stays focused on wherever that null is or that empty we're going to move it just like that this has saved me a ton of trying to move my camera around within my scene and I hope this works well for you also